new president of the Washington football team, Jason Wright. Jason, thank you so much for being here. And I want to start. Applause is absolutely necessary. Congratulations. This is huge, not only for you, but the entire organization, the entire sports world. So I want to ask you, what does it mean for you to be part of this new era in Washington? Um, you know, for me, first of all, it's, it's, it's personal, right? Um, you know, I've been playing football since I was seven years old. You know, I'm a football player at heart and, uh, you know, formed all of my leadership experiences. You know, my first few years in the league getting cut every other day, just trying to make a team and eventually becoming a team captain and playing for a long time. And then, and then cutting my teeth as a business thinker and an and analytic thinker and having those two things come together is real, real personal for me. And then add to that the fact that there's you know, a demographic aspect of this for black folks, and that's a really positive thing um, as well. Um, and so, you know, it's the icing on the cake. So I'm just really happy to be jumping in right now. Well, first of all, congratulations, my man. Very, very happy for you. I'm very pleased with two moves that Daniel Snyder has made recently, um, uh, hiring Julie Donaldson uh, as the senior VP for media and broadcasting for the team. I've known her for many years, and I think she's going to do an absolutely sensational job. And then to bring in you, I think it's a huge, huge plus for the organization. Having said all of that, I want to know specifically – what your can you let us can you lay it out yeah. for everybody? What are your responsibilities going to be, and what are you going to have final say on? Because a lot of times, yeah, yeah, particularly yeah. in the NBA, African Americans get the titles, but they don't have final say. And with Daniel Snyder, some people would assume nobody's going to have <laughs> final say when it comes to working for him. So, what exact responsibilities and authority are you going to have? I love the real question. So uh, I'll try to keep it real simple. Coach Rivera oversees everything on the football operation side. Everything that happens on the field with players, with player personnel, that's him all day long. Everything that's focused, and it's, and it's about winning, and it's about getting to the Super Bowl. On, on my side, it's about creating a business that is expanding the value of the franchise, all the business operations, et cetera. But I, I have full remit over that. I can put people in role that I want to put in role. I can guide our business decisions how I see fit, the same way that Coach Rivera is able to manage everything on the player personnel side. So these are tr two true chief executive roles managing two sides of the business. I want to ask you about being the first African-American uh, team president. On the one hand, it's a great day, right, because it, re it represents, in a way, inclusiveness and it's also good for business if you eliminate a huge percentage of the population Stephen a brought up women or or people from different racial or ethnic backgrounds you're doing yourself a disservice because you're at a competitive disadvantage eventually if you if you limit that that pool yeah. of, of of qualified uh candidates on the other hand we're in 2020 and this is not like when Obama was elected in 2008, the president of the United States, that's one position. There are lots of team president jobs, and we're in 2020, and it took until now for this to happen. Uh, can you talk about your feelings about that? I, obviously, a great day on the one hand, and on the other hand, embarrassing in a way. Um, could, could you, do you care to comment on that? Yeah, man, I, I mean, I'm being an optimist on this, right? Um, you know, the, what I like about it um, are a couple things. And first, I'd be remiss if I didn't note that, you know, the current commissioner of the Big Ten, Kevin Warren, was the COO of the Vikings and basically did this role in everything but title only. So the, 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 glass, the proverbial glass ceiling had a lot of cracks in it in the first place. But, you know, what I, what I like about this is that there's so many players that are black. And to be able to see leadership not just on the player side of the ball, on the football side of the ball, but also the business side of the ball, that looks like you, that has had a similar background and set of experiences, can only be a net positive um, for the overall um, you know, football ecosystem. Um, but it, and, and also, it's, it's a good signal that, um, that people are making different decisions now. But again, I, I think the fact that I'm black is secondary to, and the fact that Coach Revere is Latinx and Julie Donaldson is a woman, and all of the, the decisions that the Snyders have been making, uh, the fact that we are demographically exciting is secondary to the fact that we're the best qualified candidates for the role. And that's what I'm most excited about. The diversity is a plus, and it's going to help us make better decisions. I appreciate that very, very much, and I get where you're coming from. Uh, but I, I still got to go back to my original question in this regard. Ron Rivera yeah. was hired 
as the head coach for the Washington football franchise. By the way, do me a favor, find a name, please. Just have it saying the Washington <laughs> football franchise. Dan Snyder, who I know a little bit. Dan yeah, Snyder, that's seen this that, that, Let me just say this. Dan Snyder, that's corny. Come up with a damn name, the Washington <laughs> football franchise. You don't even have bro. DC Sorry, in it for crying out loud. You're going to have to wait, man. You're going to have to wait, bro. I'll, I'll wait for that. I'll wait for that. But come up with a name, okay? Having said all of that, here's my question. Ron Rivera is the coach. You are a team president with obviously an astute business background, and I have no doubt that you're going to do a great job and hire who the hell you want to hire. Do your thing. But who's going to run football? What I mean by that is Ron Rivera's coaching. Is he also the GM? Is he going to be making pay, player personnel decisions? Who's that guy? Yeah, Coach Rivera has oversight over everything on the football side. Um, and so, you know, to be determined how all the roles shake out or – you know, if there's a GM, if there's not, I haven't made any decisions around that yet. Um, but that it's, it's Coach Rivera's show. It's Coach Rivera's show. So, you know, player decisions uh, for all the way down to strategy, who he puts on the scouting staff, all of that are, are his decisions to make. I know this predates your hire, um, but to pick up what this, what's where Stephen A. started, if not left off, the fact that the team doesn't have a name when anyone could read the writing on the wall and see, well, this name, it can't last forever. You know, like, it's not like you're looking around for another derogatory name for Native Americans. <laughs> like, what, it, it can't be as head of business. It can't be good for your brand to not have a name. What is the delay um, on, I know this is, you just got there, but why do you say mm -hmm. it might be a minute before you guys have a name? Well, I think it's a really important decision, right? Um, so it's not just about a name or a logo. It's actually about an identity. Um, and whatever we go down and whatever we choose uh, is going to inform not just what we put on our jerseys and put on our helmets, but it's going to inform how we shape the fan experience, what we do charitably in the communities. It's going to be a new way of engaging with the world, a new narrative from the club. And so, you know, something like that, it needs to take some time. And you, need to put, you need to put the right effort into it. And most importantly, we need to engage our fans, engage our players, engage our staff, engage our sponsors, so that it is a community decision to launch this new identity. I think that's really important. Well, I, 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 let me say this. Let me give you a suggestion. Washington Warriors. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.